a short overview of the project Atova, an architecture of resilience and joy. Situated within a troubled landscape, the project is an attempt to revive the northeast car park, a fragment of ocean terminal leaf, insisting that the act of intensely considering a moment offers a potential approach to considering the whole. History and situation inform the topical relevance of the project, encouraging a scheme with a playful seriousness to infuse the site with structures of resilience and joy. Stationed at the bounds of Leith, a region within the city of Edinburgh, the site's persistence provides a starting point, representing a momentary monument within a short-lived revival following the era's decline during the post-war years. Considering use immediate to the site, activity centres on the meeting of failing commercialism and capitalistic developments, with their abutting presence forming the impetus for this proposal. Ocean Terminal, a failing commercial affair constructed at the onset of the 21st century, represents the whole to which the scheme speaks for, whilst the development reaching for further encroachment is the body to which the project speaks against. Mirrored scenarios are observable within the region, with hostility between the community and efforts for gentrification providing definition to the urban grain. Plainly, Existing architectures seek to either support the community activity or foster a new alien presence. Pliability, movement and ease form the core tenets of the project's approach, with constructions holding a dual role. Firstly, they act as monuments of protest, as vehicles to blockade the destruction of the site. Or secondly, the forms aspire to facilitate community use, the site's revival and offer folk places to gather, play and engage. Quality and purpose is central to this dualism, providing the proposal with a life in the immediate and beyond. Its structures are a framework to be continuously infilled and reinvented. Pragmatically, the spaces are tectonically light and flexible to situation. They are spaces created for those that use them. Responding to a desire for flexibility, the assembly and disassembly of construction must be considered in tandem, with the latter holding a position of equitable importance. The marks made must not be material, the structures stand alone. The need for foundations, points of permanence should be forgotten. Simply, the materials retain their size and shape. They remain positioned ready for a future use. Through its own impermanence and ability to be dissembled and reassembled, the project thus aims to catalyse ocean terminals preservation and permanence. The consequence then is a project that is suggestive, it is an invitation to gather, it is an effort to encourage a moment between the world of building and the world of inhabitation, recognising that in this lies a potential for expressions that engage the staging of situations, the fertile fields of intentions and mishappenings, and the fleeting moments of make-belief. In sum, the proposal suggests possibility, it emboldens the imaginary, it is an attempt to construct a landscape filled with resilience and joy.